Hello everybody, I'm David with Critter Gators. Uh, we got a call this morning really, really early that there's a skunk. He has a, uh, a yogurt bottle stuck on his head. Okay, so we gotta go over there, remove this skunk, and remove that bottle from his head, and then uh, release him. So come along, see what happens. is the skunk had been digging in trash somewhere in a close proximity to this truck uh, repair warehouse and he found a yogurt bottle that had some yogurt residue left over in the bottom of the bottle so he shoved his head in there in an attempt to eat some of this yogurt and his head got stuck in there and he couldn't get it off so it, it, was, a, it was a bad deal I wonder how long he's been in here I actually had to pick up the skunk and cradle him like a baby. It was the only way to get him from where he was laying on the ground to the back of my truck. Yeah, perfect. That'll be perfect. Thanks, man. Um, so anyways, I picked him up, cradled him like a baby, took him over the truck, set him down, made sure he was nice and comfy in there. This poor guy, he had been, uh, this yogurt bottle was so tight around his neck that he actually was not getting enough oxygen to um, be comprehensive of what was going on in his surroundings. That's why he had just been laying there. He'd been like that all night. So he was really kind of delirious from a, a, a really big shortage of oxygen getting to his brain. So immediately I um, took my razor blade cut some holes in the end of the yogurt bottle so he can start getting some oxygen to his brain and start uh, getting his senses back to him. Here we go. Um, you're watching this video and you're probably thinking, wow, that's, that's just so easy. Anybody can do that. Well, you got to remember, uh, I, I've been working with all these wild animals a skunks a lot and I've been doing it for about three years so I have a really good understanding of their body behavior and their body language that just says huge of what they're what you can expect them to do um, so just because I do this and it looks really easy don't go and try to pick up a skunk or do something like that I've been doing this for years I understand their body language and you also want to be really careful of skunks because uh, nine out of ten skunks carries rabies in their saliva. That's just the norm for um, skunks. And so uh, it's really important if you have skunks in your that you know are living under your house or living under your porch, um, call us and have us come and remove those skunks. Because if one of those skunks is to get tangled up with your dog or even a cat, that can be a pretty bad deal. And we've had a few customers, quite a few customers, that had to put their pets down because their dog went, ran out, got in a fight with this skunk, and, uh, and ended up, the skunk ended up biting their pet, and their pet had to be put down because the skunk was rabied. Um, so it's common, like I said, nine out of 10 skunks carries rabies. So don't ever try to pick up a skunk and do any of this stuff that I do. It's, it's uh, serious stuff, and uh, leave it to the professional, for sure. can see now. There you go, bud. I'm willing to bet that he's not going to shove his head in any more yogurt bottles. I think he learned his lesson. <laughs>